Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm glad you're here. Look, I have this kind of crazy idea that I want to run by you that I think is going to be really cool. Um, it's for a new project, for a new website. Uh, I just find it really frustrating. Sorry, I'm going to go inside here. Okay, so here's the deal. I find it super frustrating that um, we can't like talk openly about our websites, right? Because there's like this constant fear of um, copycats, but there's also this like thing where if I share one of my websites on YouTube, then the results can't really be believed. <laughs> because like, of course, if I talk about it on YouTube with our audience here, then, you know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get good results. I'm gonna get traffic fast, right? So instead, I wanna sort of like flip things around a little bit. Um, normally, you know, we would wanna focus on the results and showing like that this works, this works, but the reality is we've, We've proven it over and over again. We know it works. It's working for thousands of our members. Let me put this on a stand here. All right, that's a little better. Okay, so here's the thing. We've proven that this works, right? We've done it so many times. Our members are doing it today. We're doing it now ourselves as well on our own sites. What we're doing is working so well, but what most people want and what most people need is to see the process. They need to see it while it's happening. So we're gonna start a brand new website and we're gonna be totally transparent in fact, today, you are gonna to get to help us pick the niche of this new website. And we're gonna be able to show everything the whole time. But why this is so different and why it's kind of a crazy idea is I wanna make this website so that all of the money it makes goes to charity. I want you to help us. I want you to help us create the website. I want you to help us come up with the topics. I want you to help us create the content. And then I want you to help us spend that money on really, really good causes. So I hope you'll join us today. Um, I'm gonna go meet with the team and we're gonna go through some of the niches that we pick. Did we wanna kind of vote on them internally, like interest-wise? Like just get the team yeah. to vote? I think that'd be cool. That's a good idea. The first thing that we do when picking a niche, we decide like how interested am I or how much do I know about it? And so if everybody on the team was like, not even necessarily picking their favorite, just like these are the ones that I either have interest in or knowledge of, mm -hmm. and then we could see like, oh, okay, these three, we have multiple team members, that would yeah. be helpful. And that'd be a way to wrap And we could them. eliminate ones that like nobody knows anything about. Right. That's a great idea. I will send a message to everybody, asking them to vote on it. Yeah, cool. So we've got a pretty good list here of niches. Okay. So the list we just generated from our list of a thousand, mm -hmm. and then I randomly had it pull out like 10 or so. Okay. And then I think we threw on a couple other just ideas we had. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where this list started. Because we don't need to know the specific charity yet, right? Or do we want to pick the charity? I'd love to get input from viewers as well as um, people who choose to donate if they have specific ones they like that we could then bet. Just because there's so many different charities we could work with. We just want to make sure, like you said, their administrative costs are reasonably low. There are thousands we right. could choose from, but we'll consider it. Charitable causes and income school our main mission is to help people to be able to provide for themselves, but there are a lot of things that prevent that for people from providing for themselves, whether it's just basic needs not being met or access to education, et cetera. And so we want to support organizations that help people with those things. Mm -hmm. And so maybe that's as far as we go down that path. As far as like their participation, the really cool thing is like, you know, today we're having you help us pick the niche, but in the future, we're going to show you ways that you can help be involved in this project uh, so it would almost i almost wonder if it'd be cool to have i don't know how it would work but like even a little blurb in the sidebar or on the footer so like yeah nearly on every page you can see like all the proceeds of this website are for charitable causes just like yeah. people yeah. who are visiting the site even if they're there for whatever pet info <laughs> they might know oh hey cool this is like a charity website yeah I think really like that. That's, and that's my plan is yeah. like, and this is where it's different than a lot of other charitable projects where it's like, if you donate $10, eight and a half dollars goes to actually help people. Right. In this case, I want it to be like, you donate $10. We put that $10 to work on a website. And because of that $10, $5 a month for the next 10 years gets donated to an actual charity to help a cause. Uh, we met just yesterday and we talked through some different niche ideas, but now we're gonna go as a group through our whole process of how we validate if a niche is a good idea for us. So hopefully you can learn from that process for yourself and see this example in action, but also stay to the end and you'll see how you can vote on which of these niches that we narrowed it down to 
we're actually gonna make a website about. So here's our list. <laughs> These are niches we are gonna get to pick from. So today what I wanna do is just kind of work through our process of niche selection. And then in the end, hopefully narrow it down at least. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna let our friends on YouTube awesome. decide our fate of what we're gonna do. So um, first things first, we gotta go through the first criterion. The first criterion for a good niche is something that we're actually like interested in or knowledgeable about. So you guys did a little bit of pre-work for me. <laughs> uh, we've got a few of these that like nobody here had either interest in or enough knowledge about to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cross um, <laughs> the, at least there's one. And it was- Sorry, Nathan. It was not shoes. Oh, it wasn't shoes. But yes. it was ballet <laughs> slash dance. Uh, <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna do that. Um, I guess I have a little experience because I have three daughters that do dance, but I don't feel like I have nearly enough to do. <laughs> and then running a food truck, one person had Sorry, interest Nathan. in. I remember you signed up for that one. It was my idea originally and I didn't even vote for it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, I thought so too. But uh, I was like, I don't know. Water purification was another one, as well as uh, composting. That's it, so we've narrowed it down. Congratulations, we still have like a bunch. Next thing we wanna do is we gotta figure out if there's reasonable traffic or potential search volume. What we're not gonna do and what we never do, we're not using a keyword tool mm -hmm. to decide this. It's oh, kind of ridiculous. Darn. I know, right? <laughs> like, let's just go easy and let's just type piano and see what the search right. volume is. So if we know that one of these is gonna have plenty, are we gonna bother? I think that's it. Like to determine like search volume for the most part, like sometimes there's obviously a lot of pianos. I mean, that's super broad. I mean, as a general niche, I think there's probably plenty of search volume there. Uh -huh. Like you said, it just depends on where we wanna niche down to potentially. And if we want to niche down, are we gonna stay niche down or are we just gonna start in a specific category right. and then kind of open it up from there once we get those first topics covered. And for now we're, we're narrowing down based on if there's enough search volume, not competition, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah that's true. We will address competition later. Work from home, huge trend. Mm -hmm. I have no question. Mm -hmm. Off-roading, we know like just dirt bikes was we had no yeah. problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And really like enough search volume kind of depends like how big a site do we want. But I always want a site to be able to get to at least 100,000 mm -hmm. page views a month. This is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's a big enough sport. Dancing, this is more like recreational you know, go take a class or go out dancing kind of stuff. Dogs, this was breed specific. I think when you go breed specific, it can get really tight. Like, yeah. is there enough search volume yeah, around? I can see that. Now, especially if we're here, it's like Shih Tzu Chihuahua mix. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, mostly because I think most of these aren't gonna have any trouble mm -hmm. getting search volume. This one's getting a product into the store. Like, I have a product I wanna sell, but I want Walmart or Albertsons mm -hmm. or to, sell it. It also but, seems yeah. like the searches would be very specific. Like right. how do I get my jam in Walmart? Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you make categories in related right. articles? That's true. Someone who's interested in that is not gonna be like, how do I get my kombucha in Whole Foods? Right. Uh-huh, that's you know? point. Yeah, cake decorating. I think anybody making a cake for their kid mm -hmm. has searches they would do. You don't have to be trying to be a pro. Mm -hmm. Shoes. <laughs> Most of us wear shoes, so. <laughs> Probably. Hopefully. Natural products, um, home energy, going green, um, sustainability, wildlife viewing and photography. Yeah. I don't think any of those have any trouble. So let's talk real quick competition. Are there any here we should just cross off because we just know it's crazy competitive before mm -hmm. we before we would take the time to actually go like to the computer? I would guess, I mean, first, first impression, cake decorating. Because uh -huh. there are pastry chefs that have been in the industry for ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know if we're looking, it depends on the angle of cake decorating. Right. right. Mm -hmm. But if we're looking for like pure decorum, here's how to make a beautiful cake decorating, I don't know if we could reach that level of expertise. Mm -hmm. I don't, if you disagree. I would agree, partially because baking's also up there and it's mm -hmm. kind of similar. I mean, we could potentially. This could be cover, a sub niche. Yeah. It, we could kind of use authority. If we did baking, we could kind of use our overall authority to potentially pursue the cake decorating, mm -hmm. but by itself, it might be a little bit yeah. more difficult. So really to assess the competition for real, we would just try to do a little search analysis on some of these and just see, can we come up with anything? But I think the gut feel is a good first pass. Um, and since we have so many options, I'm okay cutting that. I also feel like wildlife photography, like every niche within photography is very saturated yeah. with people who know what they're doing. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
more than we do and more than our riders could. I agree. So I think from a yeah. skill level and competition standpoint, that's out. Okay, so another one, topic versus product. Some of these, we put them up here the way they are, but that's a product. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is true. How could we make that more topic-based? Like we don't want a website that's just like reviewing shoes. Right. Right? Do we just change our perspective on this? Do we cross it out because it's product or do we just say foot fashion? Same thing with pellet grills, by the way, like why not just do like smoking? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. Um, there we go. <laughs> uh, pianos, we've already kind of discussed, but it's the same problem. It's mm -hmm. like, is it pianos or is it, right. you know, is it care, maintenance, yeah. keep mm -hmm. selling by? So yeah. we kind of talked about that one though already. One more thing I would point out is this is a cr another criterion that is where we're making a distinction, but there's not really a difference. Mm -hmm. Right. So, like pellet grills, 80, 90% of your content is going to be about the food, not about how you're smoking it. And so that's where it's like smoking, um, smoking food mm -hmm. that fixes that problem too. But are there other places where the search query that somebody's gonna type in is gonna lead them to content and it doesn't really matter. Are there any others in here that we feel we're making a distinction, mm. but it, it's, there's not really a difference between different things? Probably okay. a little bit about work from home just depending on the articles we picked. Right. But it probably isn't Because some of it's just productivity. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it doesn't matter if it's from home or from the office. That is true. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind as we do search analysis too. Okay, so what we currently have left, we have natural products, we still have baking, we haven't crossed it off, off-roading, pianos, work from home, and dancing. Any of those where anybody's just like groaning inside. I'm okay, crossing one more off. That okay, means so let's do it. it off. Get rid of it. Okay, you have to be liberal with the pen. <laughs> <laughs> Five left. Are we okay with if our friends pick yeah. any of these? Are we okay mm -hmm. with it? I think this is a good spread. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what about monetization? Can all these be monetized at least two ways? What kind of affiliate products? I, I mean, you could probably do some so, info products maybe, but like eventually. Like shoes? <laughs> like right. Classes? What would you do there? Um, I'm genuinely There may be some, that. you know what? I know that there are some like online video instructional courses. Yeah. That's true. That we can be affiliates for. Okay, okay. There's yeah. obviously local dance studios and stuff. I don't know if anyone wants to see me do a dance. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yes. <laughs> you could do a, this isn't paid necessarily, but you could do a lead magnet with that one. Yes. For an email list. Yeah. Oh yeah, pretty easily. Off-roading, tons of products. Tons. Yeah. No, tons. no problem there. Unlimited. Baking also, tons. I happen to know because I have way too many baking products. <laughs> uh, all of those are, are good from a monetization standpoint. I think we got a good list here. Yeah. And we're down to four. Then this is our list and you get to decide, is this website about pianos? Is it about off-roading? Is it about baking? Or is it about dancing? <laughs> if you wanna see Nathan have to dance, that might oh not no, ever happen. Oh no, I'm gonna pick it now. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> if you want to see Julia on an ATV, <laughs> if you want to see, I don't know, who doesn't play the piano? <laughs> you want to see somebody? I don't play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to see me bake, you can pick that one. <laughs> so, your choice. We'll put a um, community post, we'll link to it in the description and in the pinned comment, and you can vote today because we're picking the niche and you'll find out what it is soon. <laughs>